Hey, in this video, we'll be looking at how to add action elements and form fields in rows. For the purposes of this demo, I've created three tables in a row spreadsheet. So one is the input, which just has some labels at the moment. There's a log table and finally a categories table, which is some dummy data. So let's get started. You can find all of our action elements from the insert option on our toolbar right here. And let's start by adding an input field in cell B1. So what this does is when we toggle to our live mode, this cell would then be editable and we can input values in this cell. As for the category, let's add a drop down to this. So I'm going to go back to the insert option right there, click on the drop down list, choose list from a range of cells. And for the ranges, I'm going to select a two and a three of the categories table and then click create drop down. So now you can see that the category has the drop down of home or office. As for the date, I'm gonna go back to our insert option. We have two varieties of date picker. You can either only use the date or a date range. I'm gonna go ahead and choose date for the purposes of this demonstration. And you can see that these are the inputs that we'd be able to enter with this date picker. As for TNC, let's say I just wanna add a checkbox to collect whether or not people agree to the terms and conditions. And finally, we have the button. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a button right here. For label, I'm gonna just type in submit. As for the action, we have four different varieties of option and this might increase in the future. For the purposes of this demo, I'm gonna go ahead and say create table from a range of cells right here. And for the range of cells, I'm gonna go ahead and select A1 to B4 right there. As for the range header, I want the first column to be the header. In terms of the table behavior, I do want to add a new row anytime somebody clicks this button. So I'm going to go ahead and select always add new rows. As for the table destination, I'm going to select A1 to D1 from our lock table. You can also view a variety of different controls from our more options panel right here. For example, you want to set a few cells that are mandatory to be filled. You can just toggle that on. And in this case, let's say I want cell B1 to be a mandatory cell to be filled in. Once good, we can go ahead and click on the create button option right there. Let's just give this a quick try in our editor mode. So I'm gonna say Saurabh, the category would just be home. For the date, I'm gonna select yesterday. Let's just go ahead and expand this a little bit so that we can see the date there. Terms and condition, I'm gonna check that and hit submit. So you will see that the data is now just logged onto another table. Before we switch to the live mode, one of the things we'd need to do is toggle this from a table to a form. And that way, anybody who tries to access the sheet would have their own independent instance. I'm going to go ahead and clear these values as well. And let's do that. I'm going to just delete that as well. Let's check out what it looks like on a live mode. So if I just toggle to live, you once again have the same view here. For the name, let's just say I'm going to type in my last name. For the category, I'm gonna choose office. As for the date, I'm gonna to select today. I'll leave the TNC unchecked, hit submit, and you will see that the data gets logged here. You can also hide the log table on the live mode by just toggling this option right here. And this would no longer be visible when you switch your spreadsheet to the live mode. I hope this video helped and thanks for watching.